Hello, hello, everybody out there. All right, am I recording? Yeah. Check one, two. Okay, good. Happy, happy. All right, I want to show you how to install Hyper-V. Um, a little different than uh, VMware. I'll show you anyway. All right, so first things first, you can either do it, you can do it from, we're going to do it from the com Java console. So I'm going to start with going to new client. So you got tools, home. Um, cell, etc. So on your Java console, you go to home, then you select new client, click on that. Now it has like a file system, it has virtualization, little tabs. Scroll a little bit here, and we're going to find Microsoft Hyper V. We're going to click on Microsoft Hyper V, click that. So we're going to give it our name. Uh, we're going to just put whatever the client name is. For instance, let's go say Hyper. The should be something that is relevant to you. So Hyper V E U A E in the in the U A E, right? By whatever. Yeah, U A E. Anyway. Okay, so we have our credentials. We're gonna enter our credentials. This is gonna be if this is part of a a domain, then you put the domain credentials. But since it's not part of the domain, we're gonna just put our local credentials in there. And um, our local, whatever the administrator is, your local machine that the Hyper V is running on. That in. Okay. And put our password in there. Whatever the password is. Okay. Our storage policy, we're going to select our storage policy. And we're going to choose um, Dubai storage 31 days to S. It's fine. So that's 31 days, two cycles, storage policies. It is. And we're going to, our nodes, this is going to be the Hyper V node. It's going to be like the server, right? Basically, it's so going to click on add. And we're going to find the node already. Well, I know it'd be Windows Server Lab 4. I'm going to include that in there. Push OK. Screen up a little bit. Now I'm going to push OK again. It's going to validate the credentials and please wait. Okay. Now in the client groups, you'll see, if you want to select all the way down under agents, click on agents, and then you're going to see under virtual servers, you're going to see the virtual server that's present there. I'm going to click on refresh, and you see the virtual server Hyper-V name of refresh here. Okay, not refreshing, no worries. Go back to your ComCell browser and select the client computers, then the server, then virt virt virtual server. Click on virtual server. I'm sorry, wrong place. Excuse me. So client computers, then Hyper-V. It's got a little icon, looks like a Windows Hyper-V on it. And open up virtual server, then Hyper-V. And then default backup set. And then so usually what happens is in the real world, like in the real world scenario, here's what usually happens. What they usually do is everybody in the world usually does this. They create a new sub client. So they go to an all task and all task, then new sub client. This is mostly people, most people do in the real world. And then name that sub client, whatever the sub client is. And then what they do is they disable the active, the default clients here. They usually do that. And that's just a known practice. But we're not going to do that. But for this instance, we're going to show you how the Hyper-V sits. Okay. So say you want to find out, like, what are all these Hyper-V? What are all these Hyper-V servers on here? Basically, Hyper-V, if you don't know, is a Windows virtual machine, essentially. What it is. Anyway, so you right-click on default here, and you're going to click on Properties. And we're going to click on content. Now, you can click on browse. And when you click on browse, it's going to show you all of the servers, the VMs, if you will, that this vCenter, sorry, this Hyper-V sees. In our instance, we see we have Abu Dhabi WordPress 2 and then DXV1 WordPress 1. So these are all the, if we want to change it to VMs, you can have a different view. But these are all the different VMs. Hyper-V VMs that 
the Hyper-V Cs. Now, don't get confused with VMware and, Hi- and Hyper-V VMs. VM, VMs are VMs, but it's just it's just so different. It so, just so happens that they're sitting on different platforms. So a VM is just sitting on the VMware environment, and then this VM is sitting on the Windows environment. That's the difference. So we're going to leave this blank. We're not going to filter anything. Fine, good, good there. They're, I think they're very small anyway. You can also click preview. Preview is going to tell you, say, for instance, there's a, you don't know how many VMs are in there. You click on preview, it's going to preview the the VMs that you're going to that you're going to back up in this uh, in this sub client. In our case, we see two. Now, if you ever wanted to say filter them, you don't want to back them up. You just select one and click on add filters. When you do that, it says yeah, you want to sure good. Click close, and then you go to filters, and you see it present there. That's an easier way than browsing to the VM, the Hyper V. So I'm happy with that. We're going to push OK. And we're going to perform a backup. We're going to just right click on it and back it up. I'm not going to set up a schedule yet. I'm just going to click on, I'm just going to set up a uh, backup, do a full. And it's quite small, honestly. So we're going to look at our job console here and make sure that everything is happy there. It's running. And I actually see jobs running which I should see, but I don't see any jobs running yet. Should see something. It's just lagging out. Okay, looks like it's finished already. It's a full backup of the Hyper-V UAE. It took a size of applications, four meg, it took or one second basically is very small virtual machine so if you click on virtual machine you'll see the actual client or vm if you will so your total virtual machines and then you'll see the information about the VM. for instance you want to see like say the backup size you want to see the vm size this will tell you the actual vm the size of the actual vm the only information here that's pertinent is it powered on no duration 10 seconds the throughput is five gig an hour, is that right? Let's see, what does it say here? So five, yeah, five gig an hour. That's not very good, by the way. You you should see like a lot, lot, lot faster. Anyway, yeah, so this is, uh, over here is streams. Of course, it's not active, so you won't see streams. So yeah, that's uh, basically, that's the Hyper-V in a nutshell. So just adding it and setting up, you know, of course you you need a Hyper-V to set up. So set one up, you want to install it, of course, but that's really it. Now, you know, some Hyper-Vs I've seen out there, they're 20, 30, 100 uh, servers so or more. And they're uh, very interesting to set up and, and manage. Anyway, thanks a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.